And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, it's Keith again and AMD has officially laid out details for Ryzen 3. And if anybody's been saying Ryzen 3 was an APU all along, guess what? They've been wrong. There's a reason we haven't said Ryzen 3 was an APU. I did not believe it was going to be one and turns out it's not. So what they did was they laid out the details for Ryzen 3 as well as Ryzen Threadripper. So we're going to start off with Ryzen 3 desktop CPUs which are four core, four thread Zen based CPUs available in two desktop models. The Ryzen 3 1300X has a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.7 gigahertz. And the Ryzen 3 1200 has a base clock of 3.1 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.4 gigahertz. Both models are expected to be on shelves worldwide on July 27th. Unfortunately, there is no pricing on these at the moment, but in my personal opinion, I think the sweet spot pricing would be between 100 and 100 thirty dollars that may be wishful thinking but that's what i'm hoping for now moving on to ryzen threadripper ryzen threadripper will be available worldwide for the high-end desktop market in early august in addition to the 16 core 32 thread model previously announced there will be officially a 12 core 24 thread model available both are unlocked and both are using the new socket tr4 and I'm pretty sure TR stands for Threadripper. <laughs> they both have quad channel DDR4 and feature 64 lanes of PCI Express Gen 3.0. The base clock for the Ryzen Threadripper is 1950X 16 core product is 3.4 gigahertz with a precision boost to 4 GHz, hitting a massive 3062 CB on Cinebench R15. So if you're a Cinebench nut, looks like you're going to get a lot of points here. On the Ryzen Threadripper 1920X, that is a 12 core part with 24 threads with a boost of 4 gigahertz and a base of 3.5 so a slightly higher base clock with a, the same boost clock both ryzen threadripper cpus offer a higher performance in cinebench r15 than the intel 7900x according to amd which we haven't seen any other numbers to substantiate that it's faster anywhere else other than cinebench but that is a good representation of multi-core capability pricing for the Threadripper CPUs, both the 1900 1950X and the 1920X. The 16 core 1950X is going to come in at $999, while the Ryzen Threadripper 1920X 12 core CPU will come in at $799. That's uh, $200 or $300 more than the top end 8 core and double the price of the top end 8 core, which makes sense because twice the processor. Threadripper CPUs and motherboards will be available in early August with the Alienware Area 51 Threadripper Edition system pre-orders starting July 27th. It'll be interesting to see what's, what things shake out in the market once these hit the sales floor running. They will be coming out ahead of the high core count Intel counterparts. But we'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Leave a comment in the description below. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we will catch you in the next video.